do you take screenshots when doing your tests? I mean, screenshots are good or are usually taken when a test fails so that you can have a look and see, hmm, okay, this is where the issue was, this is, was my input. But again, do you take screenshots even if your test passes? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do this in Cyprus and I'm going to also show you some of the options that you have for taking a screenshot. By the way, if you run the Cypress test or your Cypress test from the command line, you will, as I said in the beginning, get a screenshot in case your test fails. Now, I have here a very simple test which goes to the automation testing.online page, fills out this form here, clicks on the submit button, and then checks if the confirmation message is present on the page. And I want to do some screenshots. I want, to sh I want to shoot the screen. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. But first, let's do npx cypress open to open up our cypress. And in cypress, we're going to do end-to-end -end testing. By the way, this is cypress 10. If you're using a previous version of Cypress, that looks a little bit different than this, although the code I'm going to show you is still going to work. So we select Chrome, we say start our end-to-end -end testing, and we select our spec file, which contains our test. And let's see, we made a booking, and we submit it, and everything passes. Perfect. Now, like I said, so we want to see, we want to make a screenshot of the test, but we don't want to screenshot, um, we want a screenshot before we actually click on the submit button. So on this step here, when we still have all of the information. Okay, so how can we do that? Well, it's pretty easy. We just go to the section or to the part of our test where we want to add a screenshot and we do ci.screenshot. And let's run the test again. Something seems to have happened. If we go back to our Visual Studio code and I open the Explorer, I see I have here a folder named screenshots and I have here the name of uh, my picture. Actually I have, um, it's uh, a default name made for the image and it's a combination of the describe and the it block. And if I open this image I have a full image and actually hmm, I did it wrong. I should have put it before I clicked it. Okay, no problem. We'll take it from here. And we're going to run the test again. We go back to Visual Studio Code and we have another image. And this time with the information before we click Submit. Now, you might see an issue here. I mean, these images or these screenshots have all the same name. Now, how do I add a custom name? Well, pretty simple. We just give it here as an argument if you want. So page, page before submit, submit. We go back to Cyprus. We let the test run. The image is being made. Back to Visual Studio Code and we have page before Submit. Perfect. Now, this is cool. This is really cool. I mean, the nice thing, the mega nice thing is that I get a, an image of the whole page, which is awesome. But what if I wanted to get only this information here? Yeah, like, thank you for getting in touch, Rester test. So 
this is a separate element on the page and we're actually checking this element that that element is visible here in our last step now after checking that it's visible so let's say we want to make a screenshot of only that element who knows maybe you have a test where you get uh, a graph and you want to save that graph and save different graphs in different tests and in the end compare the results with what is expected so how do you we do this well pretty simple we just do ci.get and we have the element that is there and then we do screenshot and let's say also custom whoops uh, custom message we save this one we let our test run and we have the first part we should also have the second part and if we go to our test here we see we have page before submit again with the uh, duplicate name but that's not a problem what we want is this custom message and the custom message is thank you for getting in touch raster test and there you have it so as you can see it only takes one simple line to make a screenshot of the full page and another simple line to make a screenshot of a specific element in Cyprus. I hope you liked this video and as always thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.